Hi. Hello everyone. Today we're going to play Zeus. Previously we done Sun Queen. I already played the game of Zeus, but however this was on stream. Um, I would upload that game, however I found the game very lackluster. It was against the Guan Yu. He didn't really play too well. So we're gonna try to do another game with Zeus and hope for a better game. Um, I'm not, not expecting to win anytime soon with him. This is the TLS I have currently made. I updated um, whenever I feel like. The last update was a day ago. The newest update will be right now. We're gonna put Zeus somewhere we think he should be. And then after the game, maybe we'll have a different opinion on him. But for now, I think Zeus belongs. Let me drag him down a little bit. I'm not done yet. He is still lower than this. He's even lower than this. I think he's the worst god in duel. One of the worst gods in duel. And who should join him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think Toth is also, by the way, a little bit worse than I than I imagined. So I'm gonna put him in at least, maybe maybe even an A. It's hard to say. I think some matchups he wins, and some is just awful for him. Just that movement speed is so good in this in this meta. Even like in even hunters, they just get toxic blade if they want. You can get do more, but it's not gonna it's not gonna cut it. I feel like I think it's just too much, and the map is so big. There's nowhere to hide for Toth, I'd say. But hey, who knows? I think it just doesn't work. Anyway, we're focusing right now on Zeus. I think we're going to try and do a live steal start. It's hard to imagine anything working on Zeus, but we're gonna give it our best. We have definitely been Poseidon. Poseidon does uh, directly counter it, I'd say. There's nothing to do against his ult. He's so fast, my 2 and 1 combo would miss him always. Bellab, there's no escape from him either. Um, yeah. Well, Bacchus, there's too many gods. I could just ban anything and hopefully... I don't know. I, I just... There, there's too many things to ban. Amuzenkab, Ular is open. Ular has to be banned. Kamazot is also going to be banned. I hope to not face something like Kali. Kali would be absolutely devastating. But the thing is, I'm not banning Kali because not that many people play her. So I'm trying to hope for something that we stand a chance against. And we're going to give us everything we have because we need to really, really get some... Something going in our favor somehow to get a win with Zeus. So we'll see what my enemy picked. I will show you the bands right now. The, my enemy does because you can't see it. Now you can. Heimdallir, Hebo, Skadi, and Muzenkab and Freya. This video was made before Heimdallir got nerfed in the patch that is being announced. But uh, Zeus is not gonna get changed. So Zeus is gonna stay the way he is. Because um, he's not really popular at all in any game mode besides 3v3. I don't think he's popular in Conquest. I think there's... M but maybe I'm wrong with that. I'm, I'm, it's hard to say. We can take a look at my GG and see what's up with that. So if we look at smite.gg, you can have a good overview. This is the this is the old patch. It's not season seven. Oh, I guess I didn't really update it then. Oh well, not much change in conquest, you could say. Where's Zeus? It's out outside of the screen. Zeus Mitch. Very low win rate in diamond or higher. We're against the Scylla. We will give it our best. But I really don't think we'll get a win against Scylla. I highly doubt it. But we'll give it. We'll definitely give it all, all we have. I think we will start with the life still start for sure. And um, we're going for HP potions. We're going to get blue buff and hope for the best. I think we're gonna go for bracer. There's no allies that will bother me getting hit by the, the root, but there's minions that can get hit by the root, which cleaves on me. However, that's something we have to deal with once Scylla is level 11 or 12. Depending on the way she levels things, or maybe 13 even. That would not be a wise choice from, from Scylla, however. So that's one way you can clear this buff. There's many ways, but that's one way I will choose to do. That's putting shield down, hitting it until the, the small ones die. 
and then we throw our one into the big one. This is, I think, the best way to do this. I might be wrong. I think I could have gotten one more basic in before we detonated. I think we could have cleared it with one less basic. Clear speed is very important for how your game will go. I'm gonna clear this ASAP. Trying to rotate it into a buff. Something like that. Nothing we can do to juke this. We're not gonna detonate anything. He doesn't have two HP potions. He might have already used one. Could have tried to rotate to a buff, but I decided to stay. I want to keep my pressure deep into the, the wave. Wouldn't mind if he throws in a, his, his uh, root to me. Don't mind him spending some mana, even though he has enough mana going with that buff. I just decide not to detonate. I'll choose to go for the two instead to clear. I could have maybe not even used my one. We're getting free poke, but there's nothing that's going to change in this game about that. We are super slow. We're one of the slowest gods in the game. We can't counter this. There's nothing we can do against that. He has Aegis, we're gonna have to wait it out. And he should be dead. We have first ball. Interesting. That's a nice start. We decide when we detonate. So when we see he has Aegis, we're gonna wait a little bit until he's using it. He could have never used it. That would have been pretty bad. We had to detonate at some point. But yeah, I'll decide to wait. Because the detonate is not instant. It's almost instant. And it would be very devastating to see that go into an immune. So we're not gonna take that risk. Waiting it out instead. The wrap up spawns exactly two minutes. Something you always have to keep in your mind. He might already be there, but either way we shouldn't have enough time to clear the wave, I'd say. He is not there yet. He probably did speed and didn't pick it up. Would be somewhat surprised by that. But he somehow lacks HP. He did miss his one. I guess I can try and lifesteal this up. I don't have any reason to use my abilities. Yet. But right now my reason is trying to go for red buff. Hoping I can get it. He does still have his ult up. So do I. He does no longer have Aegis. And we should be able to secure this one. Yeah. Oh, this is a bit dis risky. He's definitely going out of this. And we can try and ult this and see what happens on this one. We hit him, so that must be a kill. Huh. Alright. I'll take it. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. This must be up. He just respawned. We're gonna go for it. We're not doing the same tactic. We uh, we will do enough damage to do it this way, I'd say. He's doing the other way. It's probably slower right now, walking up all the way. And we're gonna have to find the proper boots for this. I think I'm going for Traveler boots, because we definitely need more movement speed. We're one of the slowest gods in the game. This might be the wrong choice, but hey, I'm, I'm, t I'm, yeah, I'm just taking the risk. It's fine. Sorry, I have to put something else on my second screen so I can see the recording myself. I always like to see that so I know nothing goes wrong. Okay, he's doing his small camp probably. We can't stop him doing speed buff anytime soon yet. We're just gonna keep going. Doesn't have boots so if he can get a fight I would love to take it. The first item defense we're gonna pick up is pretty it's a pretty tough choice but I think we're gonna go for shoguns. We might go for the other one. But Shogun seems pretty nice. I'm kind of happy with the lifesteal choice I, I, I made in the, in the start. Because normally I would go for Chronos Pendant in Mage's Mirrors, but I don't think Zeus really needs that cooldown reduction that badly when it comes to a 1v1. You will probably rely a lot on your basic attacks, your one shots with like combos, and your one, and your. It's just. I just feel like basic app uh, collaboration won't really do as much for him as it will do for other mages. We just missed that. Doomed to happen many times. Trying to dupe the one, he's not even hitting. Is two on me. That's very unfortunate. I think I want to stop him from backing. I'll use my ult even for that. I don't mind you using that for a stop. Simply because I want to get rub off. I want to get tower damage. Uh, I think now it's probably been 
really questionable to use it. He did kill my archer. Maybe we can even get his speed buff. Seems like we can't. Yes. I would consider it worth it just for that reason alone. If we can get it. And we can because I did decide to go all the way back. Because I didn't expect him to contest this. Fair enough. Okay then. Let's kill the minions with our two. Use the remaining ability arsenal we have to clear the red buff. And even then, I, I, I'm not satisfied yet. I want more. I will save some mana by not using my detonate. Everything is welcome right now. We have the traveler shoes which gives us mana regeneration. We're not going to just allow him to do this for free. We'd have to fight me for it. Um, I really want to clear the wave. He knows I do. I'll do it really quickly. He's definitely going for it. Very nice. Yeah, a lot of damage going there. And we just keep pushing it. Seems like he... Oh. have to be very careful now. I'm not thinking he would come and just want to clear the wave ASAP. Um, maybe deny him another wave. We'll try and fight him. His tree might still be down. If he comes around the corner to try and clear the wave. He doesn't. He just recalled. Try and sneak a one up on him. He did use his dash already, so might be a kill and it is a kill. Very nice. He surrendered. Okay. We beat a Scylla with Zeus. I think I will go with this game. It was a very short one, but the enemy was still better than the Guan Yu I faced on stream. So yeah. This is not a matchup I should have won. This is not a god that definitely you should play a lot, Scylla. He's she's fun to play, she's somewhat good against some gods. I'm not sure where I put her, I actually put her somewhat high, I think. I put her in S minus. Quite high because she actually works quite well on duel. However, I would never start with Book of Thoth. I would probably start with Chronos Pendant or Life Steel, especially against the Mage, which go for Chronos Pendant because you're not going to get Breastplate anyway. So yeah, there's that. There's the Zeus game. Thank you all for watching. Let me review the tier list once more. Do I give him a little bit more credit than D because we beat the Scylla who is S minus? No, we snowballed. We got an early kill. We got lucky. He played pretty badly in the early game. He's not the overall bad player, I'd say. Um, so we're gonna go for this game for Zeus and uh, yeah, we're not gonna give him any more credit than D. We might go throw him to C because it doesn't matter much. We shouldn't pay too much attention to the gods that are in B or lower. The ones in A- minus or higher are probably, probably they, they're way more interesting. And I might have to give Oleron a little bit more credit by the way. Not sure about Kukulkan, not sure about Freya and Ymir. I feel like Freya is very weak and Ymir I feel like he can just win that with some CCR and movement speed and defense. You don't even need movement speed actually, just defense. A lot of defense. Get it against the Guardian, that's it. Any Guardian you face, get defense. So yeah, there's that.